2,000 protesters toppled, beheaded, and sank a statue of residential school architect Egerton Ryerson from Ryerson University's campus last night. I think it's a great idea to get rid of the names because they have been our oppressors forever. The group was marching through Toronto to remember the 215 Indigenous children whose remains were found at the site of a former residential school in Kamloops, B.C. And after years of controversy surrounding its namesake, Ryerson University says it will not restore the statue. And a task force has been looking into the university's name for the past few months. This is stuff that we've been talking about for the last at least 50 years. We've been talking about genocide, not cultural genocide. There wasn't rattles and drums in that, in that pit. There was kids. Six Nations activist Skylar Williams helped to lead an occupation for Indigenous land rights in Caledonia last year. He says this is a small step forward, but he's frustrated it took discovering the graves of Indigenous children to start the process. This isn't about 215 people. This is about 50,000 kids that were taken from their parents, that were taken from their families and communities across the country. Hamilton is also facing similar questions of what to do with school names and statues, like this one in Gore Park of John A. McDonald, who also played a role in Canada's residential schools. There have been a number of calls from local activists to remove the statue, something Hamilton's mayor, Fred Eisenberger, is considering. We'll continue to consult with the, uh, the broader Indigenous community and you know, continue to work through, you know, reflecting both the, the positive history as well as the negative history. And trustees will discuss renaming Ryerson Elementary School at tonight's school board meeting. Should it pass, the board will also begin consulting with Indigenous communities and review its policy on how they name schools. Emily Taylor, CHCH News, Hamilton.